My name's Ben. My name's Oliver. My name's Matilda. In this video, we're going to install our LED strips for our garage. Yeah! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so me and Oliver just checking out what we're using here. Got the laptop, the Node MCU, uh, just connected to a breadboard with the USB cable. So just talking Oliver through the steps. So we're gonna connect up the Node MCU to the PC to start with. So we're connected up, we're using ESP Home Flasher on the PC to flash the uh, firmware onto the Node MCU. So we're just finding it here and we're gonna load it across to the Node MCU. I'll leave links down in the description with all the details of what we've used. We're outside. This is the garage where it's gonna go. Up there, under there. So we're just measuring up now for the wood to screw the wood up there and then we've got something to screw the LED strip to. So we'll get measuring and get cutting. Yeah? Yeah! So just measuring up here just for the wood to start with. And then just attaching it with my um, nail gun with my air compressor. Just doing it in sections with some scrap wood I had left. Okay, so we've got the wood in. Secure it there. It's pouring down with rain. All the way down to there. So just a little lip under that garage fascia. Install the strip now. Inside where it's warm, LED strip, got its tools, and in here, twenty amp power supply. So use this to test it with. Get all it set up and see how we get on. Okay, so first of all, just cutting the wire, uh, uh, installing the plug, three pin plug. Just got a length of white flex cable there. This is just for the testing of the components to make sure it all works. Just cutting the other end uh, ready to put into the power supply. And then just unscrewing the terminals and putting the wires into the power supply. Next just getting the ends of the wire ready for, from the LED strip, again connecting the positive and negative into the power supply. So we put wire the plug up to this extension cable here, plugged it in to the power supply. So we've got live neutral earth into the power supply. Yeah? The LED strip there, so we've got the power, the positive and negative into the wrong way around. We've got them the wrong way. Oh no, we're not. I need to put that black one into the negative over there. It's two for positive, two for negative. So I'll switch that black one to there before we do anything. And then they go into the LED strip to give it power. Yep. 
and then yeah. the Node MCU we configured previously will draw its draw its power from there, and then we've got the signal cable which sends a signal to the LED into D4 on the Node yeah. MCU, which is what you need to do for the WLED firmware. Yeah. So let's power it up and give it a go. So just testing it here, got it turned on with 30 LEDs to start with, within the WLED firmware and then just working out how many LED lights we've got, which is 300 on that strip, so a 5 meter strip with 300 in total. So for the actual device in the garage, using an old lunchbox, uh, just drilled a hole through it, and then going to fit it on a, a wooden shelf. I'm just going to install above the garage door, just with a, um, a metal elbow bracket and a bit of plywood. Okay, so inside the garage here, plan is to mount that little shelf up there. And then we'll bring a plug from there, bring the wire around into that lunchbox. And then we'll take a wire back through the garage, back to the LED light. So just installing the shelf up inside the garage, just screwing it in with some wood screws. Lunchbox and stuff inside, it's on the lights, it doesn't need to be anything crazy. And then just drilling a hole to the outside of the garage just to push the wiring through. Just put a little metal bracket in there just to make it look a bit nicer. Okay, I'll connect up the power. Took wires out of there. Node MCU connected up just with some Wago clips. Signal cable there. So we'll mount it up there and sort all wiring out. It's got the wires going from the lunchbox. See the power supply in there. Different wires. The white one's going to the plug for the power back to the lunchbox and then inside the lunchbox you can see the metal unit there is the power supply the breadboard with the node MCU on and the cabling you can just see the Wago clips there connecting to the other wires on the outside the wires come through there Clip them up, some more Wago clips behind there all taped up for now and then you can see the LED strip mounted to that wooden uh, wooden piece running all the way across and then just some little mounting clips just to hold the LED strip in place. Fully waterproof LED strip. Here are just some of the um, effects for the LED strip. video I hope you enjoyed please like and subscribe smash that like button and absolutely hit that subscribe button